prophet Tomito Bebalogun Joshua's wife, Pastor Evelyn Joshua, says she is not surprised by his death. Evelyn, the wife of the late founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Prophet Tomito Pe Joshua, said the death of her husband didn't come to her as a surprise. When she received the delegation sent by Lagos State Governor Baba Jidesawu Olu in Ikotun, she said, What happened was an act of God. There is time for everything. Like my husband will say, that was the word I knew from him very well. This is the job he was known for. This is what he was living for. This is what he was going to die for. So it didn't come to me as a surprise. And I, for once, wasn't surprised when it happened. As we all know, he was in service that day. So that is it. Evelyn, however, appealed to someone Olu to participate actively in her husband's burial, which she said would be made public very soon. The delegation led by the Commissioner for the Home Affairs, Prince Anofoy Elegushi, presented a condolence letter signed by the governor to the family of the deceased. Just like not just balance at all at all, all of a sudden, person don't just turn with you. But if you understand this particular passage of the Bible that said, it is appointed for a man to die once and then judgment comes. You will concur with the wife of T.B. Joshua, Evelyn Joshua, that yes, she is actually not surprised at her husband died because every man must die. But ever since the death of Prophet T.B. Joshua, a lot of people has come out to say a lot of things. And while I was just finding and minding my business on social media, this particular person is saying or rather sharing her experience with Prophet T.B. Joshua on how he is this and on how he is that. So what you are about to hear via voiceover is not my experience, it's not my word. Rather, it is what I saw on social media, someone else sharing her experience with Prophet Tomito Pabalogun Joshua. This particular person sharing her experience on social media said, Some of you were blinded by his philanthropist lifestyle, which is, of course, one of their tactics. Satan is smart and will continue to ask smart human unless Jesus Christ steps in. They will do whatever it takes to get your soul. Satan knows our weakness, and that is what they use to lure humans. I will say it today again. Have a personal relationship with God. He will direct you and reveal the truth to you. Someone will ask the evidence of what I was saying and I will highlight some of them here. It happened when I was observing a 21-day midnight prayer years back. I had loved that man so much because I thought he was truly working for God. I don't joke with his program. I observed something sometimes while delivering people, which is tap wall spam, then the second, then your forehead. That particular action means the cross of Jesus Christ upside down. It is a common practice by Antichrist, which is not known by many. I observe other practices by him, which are not godly. So in one night of those intensive prayers, I asked God for mercy and show me the truth about T.B. Joshua. My dears, I am not joking. Everything was revealed in details. I mean in details. I had never been to his church all my life before before and after the revelation, but I follow his program on TV and CDs. In that revelation, I was taken to his church. That was how it all began. I saw two gates before the main building. In each gate, there were securities which are obviously not humans. Number one, as soon as you enter his church, you will be trapped spiritually. Number two, he monitors each member spiritually in and outside the church. His members are afraid of him. Number three, he constantly slaughters virgin girls. Number four, for water oh my god that water was nothing close to holy water and they gave you with instruction sorry bless you on top one prophet though you just have to declare 21 days midnight prayer for you to know or rather for holy spirit to reveal to you if the man is real or not okay madam if you can please you can declare another 21 days fasting and prayer midnight for us to heal this our country please the lot of prayer points that we all need please do find time also to pray about it not just about prophet tb joshua of course i am still going to continue with the gc has not finished now uh, but first i need to quickly remind you that my only obligation and assignment on my beautiful and intriguing and entertaining channel if it's that word is to bring to you celebrity news updates using sliding photos and video clip content of your favorite celebrities simply for information values and absolutely entertainment purposes and the terror continues.
and number five his members are wretched as in very wretched that was what i saw i wasn't meant to go back because he joshua instructed his securities not to let me go but i managed to escape because i was able to convince the securities that i want to use the water already given to me outside not by my power i ran from there but that was when the main war started very long revelation joshua told me that he won't let me live to tell the story he turned to an angry lion and was everywhere pursuing me he will laugh such a wicked laugh bragging that i can't escape from him i ran for a very long time at a point he disappeared as usual i got to a strange street then saw my brother so i thought i was relieved seeing someone i know in such a strange place but lo and behold as i was about embracing him he laughed that wicked familiar laugh and turned back to joshua grabbed me with such a numerous power and strength i shouted holy ghost fire he called me a fool i shouted the second time blood of jesus but it didn't move him instead he continued laughing and asked me to stop wasting my time but to god be the glory he alone put these words in my mouth for god has given us a name that is above every other names and that at the mention of the name jesus christ every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that jesus christ is lord this was alone where the only thing that moved him instantly joshua vibrated like a machine about to explode and disappeared completely please note this was i never knew how powerful they were before that revelation but since then i learned a big lesson don't joke with these words they are more powerful than you think i woke up and was so angry and same time sober i cried because a lot of souls were being deceived by him daily that was how i stopped listening to whatever that has to do with him no matter how good it sounds camouflage i know many of you won't believe this but i have done my part then i told people close to me and i remember saying it a couple of times on my facebook page especially on posts about joshua this word is deep and only god in his infinite mercy can save us um, this is a serious stuff but let me just contribute my own opinion have you told this story before or is this your first time because a lot of people are suddenly finding their voices to call prophet tb joshua names now so you did be when person don't feel defend himself because he don't die anyway let god judge on this this is my opinion and another person again has this to say or rather the person sharing the experience of her father and prophet tb joshua not my weight but what i saw on social media this particular person seconded the first person by sharing her experience and said my dad and most people who use his holy water report seeing him in their dreams are being nightmare about five people i know personally who went to his church still ended up dying early from their ailments or getting worse a woman went to the church with her blind mother but ended up coming back because she was asked to write her situation and she argued that she thought he could see sha only god knows but my spirit and his have never jammed ever since i started seeing him on tv with white jalabia when i was a kid only god knows who serves him but my family have had a bitter experience with miracle pastors i would rather pray on my own and wait on god and anything he chooses not to give me i am fine and i know he will always find a way to help me cope and before you will conclude ah uh, are we sure that it's actually somebody that said it on social media? If you have been on social media ever since the death of Prophet Tabitha Babalogun Joshua, you will know that people have been doing some criticism and some are saying some condolences. So you, where would I put the video of the person saying it? Of course, it was a written something, not a verbally said something. So hence, I have to come and read it out via voiceover. And this particular people has come in defense of prophet tb joshua and how good he is to People. This particular person came in the defense of Prophet Tomitope Balogun Joshua and she said if anyone was blinded by his philanthropic gestures, that's their problem. His humility and his selflessness got me. Did you see him answering G.O. anywhere? So we should warm up to those that rub their private jets on our faces or those that are quick to remind us that they have been rich and riding in expensive cars before we were born or those that use tight money to beat schools that titles and members cannot afford his wars or children to attend or we should sing the praises of those that did not deem it fit to help their church members during COVID lockdown last year, 2020. I know somebody that personally gave out palliative to their neighbors and to their street. Even more, much more, a spiritual father with tens of millions in foreign currency in their bank. Personally, I am not doubting the revelation or vision you all had had, believing it also, it is 
arsenal and so-called men of God that tell you to keep warm in cold with blankets stockpiled in their boxes. Are they real God people? All these folks say negative stuff about the dead. Are they devoid of scandals? Can we smell their backside and perceive deodorant smell? God knows them and we women make choices of what we see. If all the GOs could collectively do as much as he did, folks will not keep hearing pray more when finance is needed. This person said this is her opinion. The truth is this, once you are good, there are some people that will misunderstand your benevolence as being wicked. So no matter how you try to be nice to people, someone somewhere is trying to criticize your good deeds. And I forgot why I am giving you guys the tales and the experience of people concerning the late TB Joshua. I forgot to ask you, is this the first ever video you are watching on my channel? Okay, you want to know the updates concerning the death of the prophet that you come to my channel to find out Please kindly promote and publicize my channel by simply clicking on the red icon down below to subscribe and do not forget to turn on the notification bell. The point is this, people will criticize and people will compliment, but whatever it is, please let's allow this prophet to rest. It is half time we allow him to rest. If he is going to heaven, no, if he's going to hell, it consigns his soul. There's one native doctor that came out again from Ghana and said that he was the one that battled with him in spiritual realms. I have not seen it. Everybody and everything is trying to trend with his death. Oh, why you are not aware he's alive? And then he now suddenly died. Everybody has an opinion over the cause and the reason of his death. Anyway, it concludes it on today. And yes, I will keep on updating you guys and everything and anything that has to do with it. Then it's a prophet to be to pay my love with Joshua. And until then, of course, turn on the notification bell, stick to my channel because I am going to bring to guys this barrier and funeral life. You heard me right. I'm going to go live on my YouTube because I think or rather I believe I will attend. Thank you for watching. Copy and place this video link on all your social media platform. Love and light and bye. Notes. Disclaimer. Everything I said in voiceover is not my word, so rather I call it from social media.